So I know you guys normally really like it when I post videos about like hypey stuff and like make $2 every single three seconds by pushing buttons or whatever. Those videos go viral for me and I get more views on them and uh, they just seem to get more traction. But today I'm gonna be showing you something that is a real method that someone's actually making money with that I'm really excited about. So please, for the love of everything holy and pure, watch this video. I really think you're gonna like it. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at a video called Facebook just paid me $3,000 to go viral. Now $3,000 is a lot of money. I don't care what anyone thinks. Everyone's like, oh, I wanna make $10,000 uh, a month and do nothing. $3,000 is a lot, especially when you see what this method actually is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and like this video. This is from uh, Spencer uh, from uh, Niche Pursuits. If you guys can like my video as well, it really helps out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And and hit that subscribe button and bell notification. Let's jump in and see how he made $3,000 to go viral. So over the last six months or so, I've started to hear more and more about this Facebook bonus program. And honestly, I didn't really know what it was until one of my Facebook pages was approved just about a month ago. And so I decided once I got that approval that I was gonna kind of jump all in. I thought and you don't need, this is interesting, this whole Facebook bonus program essentially is you get paid for putting videos on Facebook pages. And you don't need to have a huge Facebook following in order to do this. I know some of you are probably thinking, oh, I don't have a Facebook page, or blah, blah, blah. If, I know a lot of you probably have played around with it before. You might have had something that you've worked on years ago and you've just left it because it didn't make you any money. Uh, could be a great opportunity to be able to do this. And it's not hard to build a page. Thought I would ramp up the number of posts I was doing per day on that Facebook page and see how much money I could make. It's now been about 30 days since that Facebook page was approved and my earnings are way beyond what I expected. And so I'm gonna share exactly what those earnings are, but I'm gonna share three things today in this video. First, what is the Facebook bonus program and how do people get approved? Second, how much money have I made and what's- I love it when people are transparent. Strategies are working for me. And then three, I'm gonna dive into specific examples. And so stick around for those three things. Let's jump into this Facebook bonus program. I really, again, I, I want you guys to like this content. I really want you to like it because it's real stuff. It's real stuff that's actually working, not hypey BS. So first of all, what is the Facebook bonus program? Well, this is a program set up by Facebook that they pay a performance bonus to creators. Now, this could come in two forms. It could be somebody that has a personal page that's been approved or a regular Facebook page, what I'll call you know a business Facebook page. And the second one is what I'm gonna be talking about. I got my uh, Facebook page, a business Facebook page, a very niche Facebook page approved. Now, my understanding is that this bonus program has only been around for about a year or so, maybe slightly longer. And so it's relatively new and there's not a lot of information out there for how to get approved. But I've seen recently that they've been approving pages with smaller and smaller followings. Um, I've heard of as little as 2,500 page followers or maybe even a little less. My page that I got approved with, it had 60,000 followers. That's a lot. 60,000 followers is a lot to have on a page, but 2,000 is really not that, that much. Anyone can do that. Of course, but I actually don't know how long I've had that approval for. Um, it's just one of those things that you don't apply to. You just get a notification on your page that says, hey, you've been approved to hit the accept button. So. That button may have been there actually for several months before I clicked it and got approved. So look for that on your own page. Now there also is a Reels bonus program that is separate. There is also an in-stream video sort of bonus program. You can get ads uh, in the middle of your videos can get approved as well. So there's at least three different sort of bonus programs that I'm aware of. I'm talking about the Facebook page performance bonus program. Okay, so this is something different. I thought this was about like putting videos on there, but this is looks like it can be about putting any kind of post on there. Let's see. That's what, what it is. And you- Public, okay, eligible content includes public photos, text, live video, short, long form video, any kind of, uh, anything except for reels and stories. Interesting. Get paid for the engagement on your page. So the more comments, the more likes, the more views on your content that you get, the more you'll earn. They don't say exactly you get paid so many cents per thousand views or or anything like that. You can kind of calculate that, that on your own, but it's really a, just up to Facebook. But what is fascinating about this program is that you do not need to send anybody off of Facebook. 
you don't need to send people to your website in order to make money. So if you just post a meme, an image in your Facebook page and it gets millions of views, you'll make money from that. And I'm gonna Essentially, you could monetize, if you have content that is copyright free, you could essentially monetize any kind of content. I show you exactly uh, how much money I've made because I've had a couple of posts go viral and do just that. Of course, you can also send traffic off of Facebook, but you get much better engagement if you don't have a link in your post. And Facebook, Facebook doesn't seem to like links on posts. If they see that, they don't want to share your content because they don't want people clicking that link and leaving Facebook. I believe likes it if you keep people on their platform. I think that Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook themselves, they're trying to keep people on their platform for as long as possible. So they're kind of becoming like the new TikTok. If you go to Facebook and you scroll, you're just going to see a bunch of videos. You're going to just see a bunch of image posts. And a lot of times it's not from your friends. And so that's what's going on here. That's interesting for me, for Facebook. I, mean, I don't know about you. I don't use it as much. I'm, I'm more on Instagram and even starting to look at TikTok now uh, where Facebook is, I think they're losing people, but there's still a ton of money to be made on there. All right. So that's what the Facebook bonus program is. That's how you get approved or that's how you get paid. You can express your interest. You can click a button, say, I'm interested but there's no official way to apply to the Facebook bonus program. You just have to look for that approval. All right, so let's jump into how much money I'm actually okay, making. Currently, and I'm gonna refresh this screen here, I'm currently at $2,792 and I have one day left. You can see- Look at that, 30 days, he's made 2,700 bucks. That's, that's amazing money, that's great money. Yeah, I started on June 3rd, I end on July 3rd, if you look in the first comment of this video, I'm going to post my total earnings for the 30 days because I'm going to finish this video before my first 30 days are up. But boy, I'm going to get so close to that $3,000 mark. This is way beyond what I expected from Great. the Facebook bonus program. What I did differently with this Facebook page is that previously I, we were only posting two or three times a day and you know one or maybe two of these times we would post a link to our website. Uh, and so we were trying to send a lot of traffic off the site and make money from display ads on our website. But as soon as I got approved to these, the Facebook bonus program, I decided let's double down on this and see what we can do. And so starting roughly June 3rd, I started posting 15 times per day. That's a lot of posts, but here's the thing. You only understand what works by testing. So sometimes I think about it. I, I do these reaction videos. I usually do them one time a day. That's my goal. Sometimes I hit it. Sometimes I don't. But I mean, what if I did it two times a day? What if I did it three times a day? Would that be too much? What if I do it four or five? I don't know. I think it would be too much. I think, oh, my audience wouldn't have time to watch the videos, but I would only know that if I actually tested it. These are image posts status posts, you know, just questions. Hey, try to get engagement with our um, audience. So 15 times a day and only about two or three of those were links to our website, right? All the other posts, 12, 13 times a day, we're just posting images and things that would create engagement right on Facebook. And it's been huge. We've had a couple of posts just go absolutely viral and currently sitting at $2,800. I'll also share how much money I've made from my website because we are sending uh, traffic off the site. So stick around for that. Again, I love his transparency here. Actually showing real numbers. So many of these videos, we, we watch them all the time. If you watch my videos, you see people talk about ways of making money online and they don't ever show that they're actually doing it. This is great. That, but let's look at some of these specific stats. So in the last 28 days on my Facebook page, you can see that I've gotten a post reach of 16 million 843 i don't think he's running any ads or anything I and mean, he would he would have mentioned if he was paying for traffic he would have mentioned it he's not running ads this is all organic thousand people so almost 17 million people have scrolled past or seen my posts from my facebook page engagement how many people actually interacted with it in some way liked it commented over 1 million people and then number of reactions. So this is number of people that have actually liked it, you know, had more uh, interactive 336,000, 84,000 comments. It's done really, really well in the past 28 days. So let me give you some individual stats. So Justin, he's not, he doesn't want to share his niche. And I, 
look at that. He's he, he's clearing everything. He's blurring everything out here. And, and the reason is because I know that he's had niche websites that he's done before that people have gone out and start either tried to steal them or they've sent bad traffic to them. So he's protecting himself. I understand. In the past, well, let's look at two things. Let's look at uh, the past 28 days. And if I sort this by engagement, so I'll have my most engaging posts here at the top. You can take a look at this. We've had one, two, three, four, five. But look at that. It one it was a big one. That 12 million one. I mean, he he had one really big, but still the other ones have like millions of views on it. Just one had a had a big was a big hit. But I wonder if that big one made him the most most of the money. Six six posts that have gotten more than a million post reach. So more than a million people have seen this. Our top one went absolutely nuts yeah. has a post reach of 12 million uh, and if i click on this you can see that it has a over 172,000 likes or interactions mm -hmm. with 39 almost 40,000 comments and then our second most popular one right has 36,000 likes and thumbs ups so people are really interacting mm -hmm. with this and they are engaging with this content now, if I look at just over the last seven days, you can see that even our most viral post hasn't happened in the last seven days, but it's happening recently. Kind of, I feel like we've landed on some things that are working really well. We have three nice. posts just in the last seven days that have over a million engagement. One thing I want to point out here, it, it doesn't look like it was like a fluke. Like sometimes people will they'll do something and for some reason it does well and they make a bunch of money from it, but they can't repeat it. It looks like he's repeating this over and over again, doing very well. Or a million people reached, 19,000 reactions on this one that was just posted uh, just three days ago. A lot of our posts are doing extremely well, and it's, of course it has translated into that earnings that I shared just a second ago. So you're probably wondering about my strategies. What's working well? For the most part, the things that are getting a lot of engagement are just image posts. So kind of think about memes, right? Just images with uh, captions on them or status posts uh, with an image where we ask a question. Those are the things that have done really well. We haven't posted uh, any. I wish you would actually show us the ones that did, that did well, but I understand why he isn't. Videos, but more specifically, we've changed our strategies a little bit because when we first started this website, it was more news related. And it was all the new things that were coming out in the niche. And those did so-so, uh, but we shifted recently because I thought about the demographic of people that are on Facebook and they do tend to skew a little bit older. So mm -hmm. people in their mid forties or fifties or 60 plus these, that's the majority of people that are on Facebook. It, it's kind of funny. I'm like, it's older people now. It's people my age, people in my forties and their forties, fifties, sixties, really it's my, my mom's on Facebook. Um, and, but the kids really aren't, aren't on it. They're on Instagram and TikTok. Just, it just skews a little bit older. And so I thought, you know, if we can do some things that are a little bit nostalgic for these people, and we kind of stumbled onto that because we posted some things of, here's some older things that happened in this niche. You know, what do you guys think about this? And those got a lot of engagement. And so I'm going to give you some examples, but that's one thing we've shifted from going more new things happening into the niche to here's something. Do you remember this from 30 years ago? And that's the cool thing is that you have to actually sell anything. That's the neat part about this. You don't have to worry about sales. All you have to worry about is engagement. It's been kind of interesting. So now we're doing a niche of new things and old things. And the old things in particular are the ones that are going absolutely viral. People just love to reminisce, talk about the good old days, things that, you know, they see this image and they comment on it. Hey, hey, remember Ghostbusters? Oh, I remember. <laughs> so I, I remember that. that was funny. That's one tip. All right. Now I want to talk in concrete examples. I'm not going to reveal my niche here uh, today, but I will reveal another one that I'm going to give some examples with. So let's imagine you're in the, the board game niche, right? You have a Facebook page talking about board games, right? Um, you could just be posting a lot of things, you know, memes, you know, here's one example and it's more than okay to come on here and use existing memes or to slightly change them a little bit and then post like a status post, right? Ask a question about that. So this would be a good one because uh, this one's kind of like nostalgic as well. Hey, I've collected all these board games. How much are they really worth? And then you could probably get AI tools to create some of this stuff for you, even come up with the ideas. I can start a big discussion, right? And uh, here's, here's another one. 
So if I were in the board game niche, I would be thinking about vintage board games or thinking about people that are 50, 60, 70 years old. What might they remember from their childhood? What board games or card games from their childhood might spark a reaction or a memory from them, right? So it might be as simple as just posting a picture of games, mm -hmm. yeah. right? And, and asking a question about it. Or what works really well is to compare it the good old days to today and if some way you can phrase it in a way that says yeah the good old days were great nowadays yeah not so much that's going to get people's emotions going I mean, you're playing with people's emotions in a nice way and you're earning money from it you could say something like an image of of all these old board games and say a closet from the 70s versus a closet from 2024 and maybe in the closet from 2024 is just a Roku receiver, right? How about like one where you do like kids toys from the 60s, where it'd be like just like a few, I don't know, little was Lincoln logs or little little wooden toys or something. And then uh, kids toys from today. If you see my kids toys, it's ridiculous. Probably if you've got kids, you probably have the same thing. Um, and you say, sort of say, what do you think is better? Or, you know, I enjoyed my closet way more than I enjoy my closet nowadays, you know, back then, right? Things like that. Mm, or sense. just you could post a really old, obscure, you know, sort of board game and say, hey, do you remember playing this one? Those types of things, right, could do really, really well when you think about the demographic on Facebook Nostalgia. tied with your specific niche. And this example of board games, that could get a lot of reactions and people, oh, I remember playing for hours with you know, my parents or my brothers and sisters, that sort of thing. That does really well, Eric Cannon. And now here's the kicker actually, is that I am sending some traffic to my website as well. So you can look at Google Analytics. You can see that over the past- uh, Again, love his transparency. Love that he's actually sharing numbers. Uh, 30 days, I believe is what I have selected here. I've got 46,000 page views on my website. And a lot of this is coming from Facebook. Not all of it, some of it, some of these spikes earlier on came from Reddit, but most of this, you know, it's two, three, four, maybe 5,000 page views a day. A lot of that is coming from Facebook. And sometimes what we'll do is after a, a, a post goes viral, we'll go back in and we'll add a link in the status hmm. uh, after it's reached, you know, 20,000 impressions or something like that or we'll add a link in the first comment. Not on all of our posts, because as you can see, the Facebook bonus program is earning more than my website now, but we are still getting some traffic to our website. So that's a nice little uh, kicker at this point. And currently- Okay, so how much is this website making? Currently, I am monetized with Journey by Mediavine, and I've been pleasantly surprised by the earnings there. 30 days, 180 bucks. Not bad, but not, not as good as the Facebook program. It's been more than Ezoic, for example. It's only been on Journey for about seven days, but the RPMs are around $10.60. Not great, but I expect that that is going to improve once Journey starts to learn my website and fully gets all the data uh, for my website. But it's made uh, about $180 in the Still last nice. um, six or seven days. And so if you multiply that by four to get a full month, right, we're talking close to $800 in a month that the website will make as well. So all in between the Facebook bonus program of about $3,000 and close to seven or $800 from display ads on my website, we're talking close uh, to $4,000, most of it coming from this niche Facebook page. So what do you guys think of this? I mean, I think it's amazing that he's able to make almost $4,000 from a Facebook page and you're not selling anything. You're not doing any kind of sales. It's not pushy. It's, I don't know, something that I think a lot of you can do. Let me know in the comments below if you think this is a good idea. If you've got a Facebook page that you're thinking about trying this on, let me know. Also, please like this video. It really helps out with my YouTube channel and I appreciate it. And hit that subscribe button and bell notification. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Thanks.